Hi everybody, this is Melanie from Courtney Lane Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make patterned cuts. Specifically today I'm going to show you how to make patterned letters. Now this is something I've wanted to do for a long time, kind of sussed it out not long ago and now I'm going to share it with you. Okay, let's get started. So what I've already done to make things easier and quicker for you guys is I've gone ahead and added the shapes I'm going to use on um, my screen here okay so what I've got is this polka dotted shape who doesn't like polka dots right from art booking and then I've got some M's for Melanie right from birthday bash birthday bash is a really good one for this technique um, one because it's big and chunky and two it has a shadow you do need a shadow to do this you don't have to but to, to really make it look good I recommend it okay so let's get started. Now I have two of these ex exact same size of these M's, okay? And then I have one shadow. So all I did was duplicate um, the one M by hitting duplicate here at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. This is an easy way to do it. Otherwise you can copy and paste, but duplicate is an easier way to do it. Okay, so I'm going to put my M here on top of my polka dotted overlay. Then I'm going to select this entire group of stuff here, and then I'm going to slice it. All right. Now I have two bits here. This one's just the dots, which, you know, if you want to put all the dots on separately, you could have done that without doing this. Doesn't seem like a fun thing to do. Or now I have this really great polka dotted all one piece bit here. Okay, so this makes it super easy. So then you could set that on top of the copied M and then we have this to go behind it. And I'm going to change the color of the gray to a white so you can really see it. And there you go. So now I have a patterned M. So this is pretty nifty because you can do this and have um, because there's tons of patterns on art booking and there's tons of patterns I think on um, paper lace. So you could do your name or put home for home decor or love or whatever and all have different patterns and it'd be cut with the Cricut and not using paper. So sometimes you don't have blue and white polka dotted paper but you want to use it. Well now you can. So this is how you do it with the letter, and I'll come back and show you how to do it with any other shape on the next video. Thanks, guys. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you find this video useful. As always, you can find me at Courtney-Lane.com, and um, I've got projects over there five days a week. So come check it out. Take care, everybody. <laughs>